Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over what is the difference between linear and non-linear in machine learning or deep learning. So what is linear in machine learning? If linear combinations or coefficients in the model, we call it linear model. So let's take a look what is the linear combination. We have W1 and W2 here. And here, one blue arrow line here is 3W1 and here we have 2W2. And the linear combination of these two vectors is just 3w1 plus 2w2. As you can see here, the red arrow is the linear combination of w1 and w2. So now we know the linear combination and what is the coefficient in this linear model. So this is the, thing, uh, the very simple uh, linear regression model. We have the x1, x2 to the xn and we have the sum value here. So this sum value we have the w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus and x uh, the wn and xn and the output we can say y here. What is the coefficient? Well, this red font so w1 w2 to the wn these w values are the coefficients here. So which are the coefficient in the regression model? So what are the coefficients in the deep learning model then? Well, in the deep learning model, same concept stage here. Ws are the coefficients here because the deep learning model nothing but has multiple nodes and the node is something like the regression model, right? It's just sum of value of the W1, X1 and the W2, X2 to the WN to XN. So what is linear in the machine learning? So recap, if the linear combinations of coefficient in the model, we call it linear model, and the coefficient, it is the weight. So if the linear combination of weight in the model, we call it linear model. So let's see the linear model example here. If you just have one constant here, uh, for example, in your machine learning model, if you just have the bias, that is also a linear model. And if we have like w0 plus w1 x1 is equal to y, this is also linear model because it's a product of the weight and the variable and uh, the constant value. So it is also linear model. And uh, here, the multiple product of weight and the variable is also linear model because from the coefficient weight perspective, this is linear combination. And this is also a little bit complicated, but still it is a linear model because from the weight perspective, it is a linear combination. No matter what, these x variables are squared or log anything. This is the linear combination of the weight. So this, we call it linear model. So, and the variable product like x1, x2 here, like this one, even if we have this kind of concept, as long as we have it, the weights are in the linear combination, we call it linear model in the machine learning model. So now let's talk about the non-linear model. Non-linear model is just nothing but not linear model, right? So linear regression model is the linear model. And uh, we normally say that logistic regression is non-linear model. Why it is non-linear model? Let's take a look. So let's take a look at the linear regression again. The linear regression model is just linear combination of the weight value like this. But the logistic regression, we have one more here. You can see we have one more sigmoid function before outputting z here, z here. So this sigmoid function is actually 1 over 1 plus e over uh, e to the, the minus y here. And this minus y value, y value is the linear regression's output, which is, this is it, right? So w1, w2, wn are here, but this exact z value is not the linear combination of the weight. That's why the logistic regression is non-linear model because it's not the linear combination of the weight value here. Same concept happens in the deep learning model. So if I just take out this part to here, this is the deep learning model's the first layer. As you can see, normally the every node have the activation function like this sigmoid function. 
once you have this activation function, you introduce the non-linearity in your model. So normally the deep learning model, if it had the activation function, it is the non-linear model. Okay, so plus, can linear model has curve shape? Yes, it can. Since the linear means linear combination of the weight, not the shape of function. So let me give you an example here. So I'm going to open the graph for here. So first example, y is equal to x. This is the linear model, right? This is linear shape, so you don't have any confusion here. And uh, this is also linear function because this is a combination of the product of the, the constant with the variable, right? Uh, so, and uh, here, y is x plus 1. This is also linear. And this one is also linear model. So here, the coefficients, which are the 1, 4, 3, 0.25, and 0.3 here. And no matter what the x variable is squared, cube, or to the power of 5, to the power of 6, no matter what the x is, we just take care of the coefficients here. As long as the coefficients perspective, it is the linear combination, this is the linear model. Let me give you one another example here. So I'm going to open these two variable one. So no matter what, you have the two variables like x and y, you just see the coefficient here. Coefficient is just 1 and 1 right here. So this is the linear model, and uh, this is also linear model. And this curved shape is also linear model because here the coefficient is just 0 0.2, 0 0.05, 0 0.2, and 0 0.05. Also, this is also linear model. Even if it has the curved shape here, coefficient wise, let's say this point. 15, point 15, point 15, these guys are the coefficients. Let's say this one is alpha, beta, and uh, theta. Uh, from alpha, beta, theta, this is just a linear combination. No matter what, you have x and x and y inside. These are just variable. We just look at the, the coefficients in this equation. As long as the coefficients are in linear combination, we call it linear model. The others, non-linear model. That's it, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.